What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Drag him along the keel till he's over. Keel hauling was one of the most brutal punishments in the history of seafaring. It was used on pirate ships and in various navies, such as the English, Dutch and French navies, especially from the 17th to the 19th century. Since keel hauling was carried out in public, it had an exemplary character and a deterrent effect on board of these ships. It was used only rarely and only for particularly serious offenses, which included for example violence against comrades or civilians and mutiny. There are several variations of this punishment. In the worst and best known form, the offender was dragged under the keel of the ship. The keel is the central longitudinal beam that runs along the center line of a ship. The word keelhauling is derived from the Dutch keelhalen, literally meaning to drag along the keel. The very last recorded case of keelhauling took place in Egypt in 1882, and according to the British newspaper that documented the case, it lasted only 24 seconds. Quote, the victim's face was bleeding and torn, his clothes hanging in shreds, and his hands were dripping with blood. His eyes were open but filled with blood. Because the condemned was not yet dead after the first round, he was dragged along the keel another time. Quote, the first terrible journey had ended with him scratched and torn. By the end of the second, he was mutilated. The report concludes, one may hope that he was dead. Death must have been a welcome relief. Probably because of its excessive brutality, keelhauling is often seen as fictional nowadays. However, there is hard evidence for it. A Dutch naval manual from 1537 states, quote, Sailors who were caught drunk on guard, who were in fights on board or pulled a knife against their comrades, should be keelhauled. Quite a severe punishment for being drunk, right? Most likely, these drunkards would have faced the mildest form of the punishment. There are two more severe variations of this punishment that are much worse. In this mildest version, however, the victim was simply tied to a rope, pulled up into the rigging and then let fall into the water. This procedure could be repeated several times, depending on the sentence. Sometimes a weight was attached to the feet of the condemned man so that he would sink and remain underwater for a while, which caused a sensation of drowning. The second form of keel hauling was the so-called dry keel hauling. On first glance, this might seem not as bad as the first form because the rope was shortened to the point where the fall ended just before hitting the water. But the abrupt stop, in most cases, dislocated the victim's shoulders which, in an age of lacking access to skilled doctors, meant the victim was left crippled and therefore dismissed from service. More often than not, this meant he had to live a life as a beggar on the streets, without any real means to feed himself. The Dutch were the first Europeans to use this punishment regularly in the early modern period, and according to another primary source, they executed it, quote, with a serenity of temper peculiar to the Dutch. From the Netherlands, this punishment then spread throughout the navies of Europe. But it was not the Dutch who invented keelhauling. The earliest evidence dates back to ancient Greece. In about 300 BC, the Lex Rhodia, a maritime code of the island of Rhodes, mentioned keelhauling as a punishment for pirates. The first pictorial representation of the punishment is found even earlier, on an Athenian vase dating to the 4th or 5th century BC. The image suggests that the victim was thrown overboard, pushed down with a stick and then pulled up on the other side of the ship. This ancient form of keelhauling is very similar to the best known form of the punishment in which the convict was pulled under the ship along the keel, or more often from starboard to port. A good example of what this might have looked like can be found in the series Black Sails, so spoiler warning. First, a rope was pulled under the ship, then the victim was tied to one end of the rope and thrown into the water. Then the crew began pulling on the other end of the rope to pull the victim under the keel of the ship. While it was very rare for someone to drown while being keelhauled, the barnacles on the ship's hull slashed the body of the condemned man, inflicting horrible and in many cases fatal wounds. This also happens to Captain Teach, better known as Blackbeard in the series Black Sails. In some cases, the convict was also pulled under the keel several times, sometimes to the point that he died from his wounds. But all this could be made even worse. To prevent premature drowning, an oil-soaked piece of cloth could be wrapped around the head. And to prevent fatal cuts, a weight could be added to pull the victim down and away from the barnacles. This made sure the convict could, depending on the verdict, receive additional blows with a cat on nine tails or ropes. Keelhauling was used for a long time. It only fell into disrepute and finally came out of use in the 19th century. 
Let us know if you'd like to see similar videos and if you liked it, please leave a like and a comment down below.